Okay, hello everybody. It's Dan the Bugman. I'm here doing a full tutorial, step-by-step, -step, how I do a bed bug treatment. We're here at a house that has bed bugs. Just to prove it to you, I'll show you guys the bed bugs really quick. Show you guys what a bed bug is. The first place to look is where the person spends their most time throughout the day. Most of the time, that is in a bed. Um, that's where I spend the most of my time in one single spot would be in my bed. But this gentleman seems to spend the most of his time in this beautiful recliner. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the cracks right around here. Um, I really don't even have to get very far in there. But that crack, so, so see that little guy right there? That's a bed bug. That's a bed bug. Those are all, those are all bed bugs. Any questions about the bed bugs? Uh, it's a pretty heavy infestation. I've got my camera on my hat. I'm going to be treating this house for bed bugs. I will show you guys everything I'm doing. I'm going to have one of our other guys, Nate, meet me over here. It is going to be his 10th day on the job, and this is going to be a very good bed bug service for him to see and help me with. This is a above average infestation, I would say. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do a general lap spray around the house. This is a trailer mobile home, so it's not very big, but I'm just going to do a lap where I spray around the baseboards and I just get my bearings about where, you know, I need to spend most of my time, how bad the infestation is. Just getting a game plan, seeing where the target areas are. Kind of grossed out. No, I just don't want to bring any home. You won't, I promise. So doing the initial spray, noticed um, around this coat hanger that there are bed bug eggs and live bed bugs, which to me is a sign that the infestation is pretty old because bed bugs, like most pests, don't leave their food source unless they are overcrowded. And that's pretty far away for a bed bug to be, which tells me that this is gonna be a pretty bad job. If you guys look closely, you can see the white specks. Those are bed bug eggs. There is a, a small bed bug right up in the corner there. The black dots are bed bug poop. The main two target areas are gonna be this couch and this couch. That's where the person that lives here spends most of their time. I'm gonna do these main parts first so you guys can see the severity of what is going on here. He loves this chair, but unfortunately, it's about to get a bunch of chemicals on there. Whenever they dry, the chemicals are very safe for humans. We just make sure that the person that lives here is not sitting on them when they're wet. Come and get a shot right here. That's pretty bad. So you just start spraying the cracks. There's so much, see, like right all up through here. That's just all eggs. All those little white dots, they're eggs. There's a lot of people that say bed bugs are microscopic. They're not quite microscopic, but they're pretty darn close. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Jeez, look at them back there. They're just crawling. Oh, this is so bad. So bad. And it, like stuff like this, I mean, it's right next to there, but it's just covered. Well, a lot of insects do this, but they like to, they're like semi-social insects. So you consider like wasp and bees, those are very social insects. They have a queen and like a colony, but stuff like bed bugs, cockroaches, those are, I consider them like semi-social, so they don't have a true like colony system, but they, they definitely just hang out with other, other same species and that's where they reproduce and lay their eggs. The spray is white, but after you spray it, it soaks in with the poop and it turns that uh, brown color, mm. which is really just a mixture of the blood. Bed bugs are parasites to humans and only humans. They're not parasites to dogs, cats. Their body structure doesn't really allow them to get through fur. They're very flat animals. They, like I said, they evolved right next to humans. Gosh, dude, there's so many little baby they ones. They move so fast too. There's like yeah, a wiggling. Uh, sometimes bed bugs seem a little slow, but if they want to get going, they're, they're pretty quick. What does a bed bug bite feel like? 
Well, to my knowledge, I've never been bit by a bed bug. Uh, I compare them to mosquito bites a lot. Bed bugs have the same, not the same, but they have a chemical in their saliva that when they pierce, it's not like a bite, like a, it's like a needle. Same thing with mosquitoes. They have a needle as their mouth part. It punctures the skin. Uh, the saliva goes in so you don't react quickly. The blood doesn't clot up. It just flows through. Uh, they get their meal and then they walk off. It will swell up, not because of the bite usually, but because of the saliva they inject, it will swell up your body reacting to the bite. Um, but everyone reacts differently. The guy that lives here, um, you know, he probably has bed bugs bite him multiple times a day. I talked to him before I got here and I didn't see any really, you know, marks all over him. So everyone reacts differently to bed bug bites. There's some pretty good shots around the foot there. See all like just the dead carcasses here? Yeah. Those are their skin sheds. They, they shed their skin usually five times in their life cycle. But it, it's very important to flip all this stuff over when you're treating bed bugs. They like to be up under things. It's kind of the same with roaches. They, they like the, it's just a biological feature. They, they like being up under things. I'm gonna oh, this thing yeah. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, look at all that dead skin. There's live ones. Like that, that's how you know this has been there a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Those aren't even alive. Those are just their skin, skin sheds. There's a scientific word for their skin sheds. I don't remember what it is, but gosh, look at that dude. Get a shot of that. You. Oh One thing I do want to explain about bed bugs, um, I talk, I said that they, the only other kind of insects in their family is a species, their common name is bat bugs. They literally evolved side by side with humans in caves millions of years ago. The bat bugs fed on the bats. They evolved from a kind of lice, an ancient lice species that eat, would feed on the birds and bats. And when the humans and bats started roosting and living in caves together. These bat bugs would fall down and start feeding on humans instead. And if you compare a bat bug and a bed bug right next to each other, they are almost identical. Bat bugs can feed on humans and vice versa. To me, it's very important to understand the biology of these insects because it helps you understand how they evolved directly with humans. It's not like a cockroach or a termite. A termite they just evolved to eat and decompose wood. Bed bugs evolved just for human stress and to hate humans. Yeah, they're just crawling everywhere. One of the unf unfortunate parts about bed bugs, there's kind of the uh, stigma that bed bugs are only around like poor people, but that's not true. Bed bugs can infest anyone's house, but when it gets this bad, it's because the person that has them has some kind of mental or physical disability where they literally just don't know that they're there or they don't care. They are not completely like stable. And it's, it's really sad to see situations like this. Our normal protocol for bed bugs is two services and a third inspection, but this one is going to need, I would say at least three sprays and a fourth inspection. It's gonna take a while. Bed bugs, one thing that makes them so hard to get rid of is that they can go without food for about six months. And some lab studies show a year but they can definitely go six months without food. If you watch bed bugs behave, it would make sense. What they do is they wait for a food source to get close. They sense it through 
um, carbon dioxide and heat that humans give off. Once they sense that, they go out, they track down this food source. They spend about 10 minutes getting a blood meal, which is pretty slow in my opinion. I don't know why it takes them so long to get, you know, just a tiny amount of blood. They get a blood meal and then they go back and they digest it. And they, when they're digesting it, they literally don't move a muscle. Like they don't, you know, go socialize with the other bed bugs. They go back to their spot, they find a hiding spot and all these cracks and they don't move. They will move around a little bit to reproduce. Uh, another fun fact about bed bugs is they don't really have um, complete sexual reproductive parts. The male bed bug literally pierces the female bed bug in the stomach and puts the sperm inside of her. Uh, my first question was, how can you be living in this? Not, not from a mental standpoint, because obviously there's a lot of situations that can cause people to not notice or not understand things, but like physically, I'm just picturing if these were mosquitoes, some of them will probably just be tapped dry blood-wise, but you know, the fact that they have to spend so long digesting the blood, yeah. I think has created the situation where they could survive this long. They really are pretty slow moving insects compared to other insects. So, Do you notice that bag? Yeah. How bad it was? Yeah. I sprayed it with the BNG. I don't but... know where this bag was, but yeah, like any crack, you know, they just get in groups and they just sit there. They don't even look like they're alive, but they are. Also smush on my fingers and they don't look like they're that full, but they're full of blood. Yeah, the full ones, they'll pop. You squeeze them. I remember hearing at some point, or thinking I heard that bed bugs could also feed off of skin particles. Is that true? That is not true. Uh, so mosquitoes feed on blood because they use the proteins to lay their eggs. It's like only only female mosquitoes feed on blood. Um, but bed bugs, they feed on blood for their food. I walked in and I asked Daniel, I said, he, he showed me that first spot of the chair and I asked him if he was already itching. He's like, no, I'm used to it. But you probably are. I'm like, I'm just looking at him made my skin crawl. Yeah. And my head's itching. Hi, bed bugs. No, 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 no. I'm sure you can't hear me. And I'll let you watch what I do, and I'm just about finished up. But before I finish up, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want me to, I'll do a follow-up video when we come back in like three weeks and show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully, it's a lot better than what it looks like now. I'm sure it will be. This stuff takes time. Like I said, these bugs just rest in the cracks and they don't get out, and if they don't get exposed to the chemicals, then they don't die. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about bed bugs. They are very unique pests. I don't want to say they're my passion, like, I don't even like them. They're just interesting, they're, and they're pretty nasty. As soon as I get done with this, as soon as I get home, I'm throwing all this stuff in the dryer, just blast it on high heat. They're very sensitive to heat changes because they evolved in caves, and caves always have the same temperature. All year long so the more you know about bed bug biology the better you off you'll be I'm gonna continue fogging let me know if you guys like this video if you do please like it and comment your questions share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel bye 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 now bye you are fire, the one desire.